So you asked me how I get sharp images every single time and all my uploads are very, very sharp. It's because first of all, the number one is I make sure all my images are sharp from when I'm shooting so that when I'm doing my post-production, I don't have to now go through the process of trying to sharpen my image. So every single time when a client is selecting, I look at the images and make sure the ones that my clients are selecting are always sharp so that the workload will be easy for me. Then when I bring it to post, when I want to export, maybe I want to sharpen it a little, I don't normally sharpen, but if I want to sharpen a little, first of all, I'll duplicate my image into two. Then I will come to filter, then others, then high pass filter. Then from here, I might just add maybe one. One, one is fine for me. Then I will just hold down my control, control U, I guess. Yes, control U. Then the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want the sharpness to have colors. I want the sharpness to have just a gray sharpness. So I'll just reduce the the sharpness and the color, reduce the um, saturation of that particular layout. Then I'll say, okay, so right now, whatever I'm having here is a black and white layout. So I'm just, I just need the sharpness to be there, nothing more. So I'll just change this to soft light. So when I change it to soft light, that will add a little bit of sharpness. Then if you feel like you don't want the sharpness to be everywhere, you can hold down your alt, then click on the mask. Then paint it, make sure you're painting with a white brush on a, on a dark mask. So just paint it into the areas where you want. Maybe you want it in the eyes, the lip, I think maybe, maybe, maybe that's just where you want it. If you want it in some other areas, you can paint those areas in also. For me, I feel like, I want it to be on the eyes, so I'll just paint it to the eyes and a few other areas, then I'm good. The next thing I want to do is come to export, then make sure I'm exporting for the web. So I'll just click on that. Once I click on that, it depends on how your system is. It's going to take time to load depending on the kind of system you're using. So for my images I save on JPEG, I use quality 100%. A lot of you, when you start exporting you want to start looking at the amount of space you have in your system the amount of data you are going to spend uploading it i don't do all of that i don't think about the data i'm going to spend uploading it as you can see here it's showing me 13 megabytes but if i reduce this if i bring this to maybe let me say i keep this at medium it's going to be one megabyte if i move this to high it's going to be around three to four megabytes, three megabytes. If I keep it here, it moves to around six, seven megabytes. Then if I keep it at the highest, which is the maximum, it gives me something around 13 megabytes, which is still fine for me. Then the next down to do, I'll make sure I'm clicking on embed color profile. The color profile of the picture should be embedded on the picture. Then make sure the final output should be converted to sRGB because our web, our internet, what our web is using is sRGB. That's why some of you don't have this option clicked. That's why sometimes when you post your picture, your picture will be showing gray instead of the color you saw in your system. sRGB is a web color. So we we'll just go for sRGB and Every other thing here, you can keep them the way it is. Copyright, you can use whichever one you want to use, whichever one that works for you. Then your quality here should be by cubic sharper. By cubic sharper is what I use. Then I'll just click on save. Then I create the, I go to the folder where I want to save it, rename it, and I just save. Once I save it, I move it to my phone and I upload. I don't do anything extra. Some of you feel like, we do some magic. There are some things we are not telling you guys that makes our images pop or makes our images sharp. No, these are just what we do. First of all, from the shooting, we make sure our images are sharp. While we bring it to our system, we make sure we are working with the highest resolution. We are working with 16 bit because we shoot our images on RAW. So we are working on 16 bit, then transferring it to, the, to our phone while converted to sRGB 8 bits. So please, I hope this class was helpful. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope after today, nobody will ask me about this again, because if you ask me, I'll refer you to this video. So once again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do well to subscribe because I know you enjoyed the class. I'll see you in my next video.